Welcome back to another video. It's yours truly, Big Suzuki Cell, man. In front of Cycle Gear, and um, I'm about to go pick up that Canon air filter. You know what I'm saying? I told you um, when I was changing the spark plug, I was going to change and put the Canon air filter on there, but um, they sent me, I ordered it from Amazon, they sent me the wrong filter. So uh, I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the safe bet, man, and I'm going to go on site with you, and I'm going to get that filter because um, it's a guaranteed fit, you know what I mean? I thought Amazon was going to be a guaranteed fit too. It said it fit the DLZ 400 SM, but it was just a totally different filter, man. So. I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna take y'all with me, and we're gonna pick that thing up, man. Yeah, seriously, it's always a nice day when I get to walk in cycle gear, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, man, we out here. About to pick that thing up, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. He got me my uh, my filter, so we're all set. It's right here. It's right here, man. And I just double checked. I double checked, and it's the right one. So next time, man, I'm gonna reconsider Amazon when I really need something. I'm probably just gonna come up site again yeah, for real. But we all set, man. All right, man. All right, man, I'm walking out of here. So, I don't know if y'all can tell right now on screen, but it's raining outside. So it's not the best day to get on the bike. So I picked up the part and I'm probably going to get on the bike another day. I'm probably going to put it on another day too, probably tomorrow. So I'm going to film that. I'm going to put it on and then I'm going to test it out and see the difference that the Canon air filter is going to make to the bike, man. What's up, man? This is Zuki Sound, and I'm out here right now, man. Just got me some, uh, took a pit stop and got some food, you know what I mean? So, um, I was up sight with you in the last clip, so it's probably about a couple days later. So I ended up getting that um, new k and air filter and it's on the bike right now. So um, yeah, man, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna eat this food. I'm gonna let you guys know how the bike's running. Um, if, the, if there's any differences, man, um, or the performance, man. But yeah, man, I'm gonna just enjoy this food right now. I'm gonna see y'all outside. And so I ate my food. I'm just leaving now. And yeah, man. See that up there? That's the new. That's the new camera setup, man. So hopefully that's going to be, you know, pretty nice view on the bike. I'm gonna start up. We're gonna see if it has like a different sound to it or not. So, like I said, I'm letting her warm up right now. Should be good. Let me see how I sound. Mm -hmm. Definitely got, he's definitely barking right now. I don't know, to me it's sounding a little op more open for some reason. Yeah, it definitely sounded a little more open. I don't know, let me know what y'all think though, because to me it sounded a little open. Just a little bit more, I don't know. So I did, I, like I said in the previous video, I um, changed the spark plug. I got a radio spark plug on there now. And um, yeah, the radium spark plug, got some fresh oil in there, changed the, um, the engine filter. The engine oil filter and then 
Yeah, so I put that new that new K and N intake on there, man. So Susie's in tip top shape right now. Only thing I'm missing is like the, the three by three mod and the jet kit and um the power bomb header. That's what I'm going to get. So that's on my that's on my list for the next um upgrades, man. But that thing barking, man. I'm a um. I'm gonna go for a drive real quick so we can see if we hear a difference when it's at higher RPMs. Cause lower RPMs, it, it definitely feel like it's like more open. Let me see, I'm gonna um, go for a short drive. See if the RPMs bring out that, that different sound or something, I don't know. Let's see. Definitely feels a little more responsive, for sure. This thing definitely hit. This is the official test right here. Cause I know I put an intake on my car before. It's just like a little backlash. It's like a little after sound it gives it. Man, that thing crazy. Let me know what y'all think though. Because to me, to me, maybe I don't know. Y'all think it's in my mind that I. I swear, it's a, I swear it gives it that airy sound to it, man. But let me know what y'all think, man, down below. Um, do y'all feel the same that I feel that like it's giving it that, that different sound? Or what? Because I know a lot of y'all got already did this, and y'all did the 3x3 mod and all that, but... Y'all think the k and intake gives it a different sound? Or my mom playing tricks on me. You know. Let me know in the comments, man. I got some more stickers too. I know the K and N into it came with a sticker. Um what else? Oh, I had a, I got an Ethica sticker too. Um, I don't know if I want to put it uh, on the back fender or not. I was probably going to take these fenders off first. I mean, these stickers off and then put some more stickers like in the place of those to make it look kind of lit like that. I got that intake on there, man. Um, that joint sounding crazy. It's feeling crazy to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm playing. Maybe my mom's playing tricks on me, bro. But I think that thing definitely improved the performance for sure. Maybe a little bit, but it definitely did. I think it's worth the money. Let me know how y'all feel about the Canon intake in the description, man. If y'all feel like it, it made a difference or not, man. But um, yeah, man, Big Susie Pern, she's in tip top shape now with that new spark plug and everything. But um, I'm on my way to meet up with um, Big 50 and Bang Bobby now, man. So. I'm going to see y'all in the next one. We gone.